Hey, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to talk about this whole subject of PC versus console. As a player who plays PC one week and then console the next, I think it was warranted for me to talk about the whole idea of keyboarding on console, why I play both, what I think is harder, if there are any differences to be aware of if you plan on switching, and then should diamonds on one platform be diamonds on the other. I'll include timestamps in the description if you're just looking for one answer to one of these questions, but I felt I could just make one broad video covering everything and all my opinions on the matter. In addition, I will also be showing my sense sensitivities and settings for both console and PC for those of you wondering what those were. So let's start off with talking about the skill gap involved between console players and PC players. Now just to be clear, these are all my experiences and opinions and are in no way a universal idea or concept. In my experience, the whole console diamond equals PC diamond is partly true. I believe that once a player hits diamond, they have simply shown that they have understood how the game works, mainly talking about game sense here. So when a player decides to transfer from one platform to the other, the whole knowledge and experience that that player has will transfer over. What changes is the means by which they play the game, and given a mouse and keyboard and a controller are two very different means, it creates challenges. A mouse and keyboarder is going to have a very difficult time fine-tuning their aim with a controller, just like a console player will have trouble dealing with everyone else's faster reaction time. The plays, the positions, the routes, the flanks, all of that is still going to be there for the player, but what happens is they now have to deal with the new means by which they execute those plays, which can be challenging. What this means is a console player shouldn't be considered less than a PC player simply because they play the same game with different buttons. So which platform requires more skill? Uh, I personally believe each platform has its own set of skills to deal with. A console player has to be very good with their controls over the sticks. Mastering the recoil for each gun by simply using the thumbs is definitely an acquired trait and skill that you have to work for. On the flip side, PC players have the ability to be so precise with their aim, their angles, and their movements, so PC players have to deal with faster reaction time. So when you compare the learning curves, mastering analog sticks on console, and being fast and precise on PC, you'll find that they are completely different. You can be the best player in the world, but if you are given a brand new means of playing the game, you'll probably find that it's pretty challenging and will take some time to reach the same level as the players who have been playing on that platform for a while. So one platform really can't be considered harder than the other, but in my personal experience, I'd say that hitting diamond on PC has been more of a challenge, but it's probably for the reasons mentioned previously. So as a player who plays PC one week and consult the next, what's the best way to transition? First and foremost, Terrorist Hunt. You have to retrain your brain, your muscles, and that feeling in your hands to be used to the new means of playing. This can be more difficult for some than others, especially if you have no experience with whatever you're switching to. But the best thing you can do is to hop into a terrorist hunt and turn single fire on. You need to retrain those muscles to move for headshots. The reason I suggest single fire is that you'll be able to see how far you're missing. If you're overshooting targets, you can start turning down your sensitivity. If you're shooting before you reach the target, you need to turn your sensitivity up. Now there is no perfect sensitivity. Finding a sense is something that you have to do individually. It's simply something that you're going to have to pay attention attention to and really work at if it means that much to you. My sensitivity is as follows on the screen for PS4 and PC. I'm not showing my Xbox Sense for right now because I probably have to change it given I've changed my PS4 Sense recently. Uh, I used to run low sensitivity, high ADS on console, but I've since switched that around. Mainly to reduce potato aim. While I thoroughly enjoyed having high ADS on console, I did find that I could control recoil better with it being lower, but be able to still flick around if need be by raising my sensitivity. But just goes to show that you can do either. I had my old since for over a year and I just now switched it around and have been doing just fine. My one suggestion if you do end up switching from console to PC, I recommend you just hop straight into ranked. It's kind of a trial by fire where you just throw yourself into that new learning curve after you hit level 20. I recommend it giving playing tougher competition will start making you a better player overall and then get you used to that faster style of play. So why do I play both PC and console? Honestly, it's something I've been asking myself for a long time now. Uh, I personally love the feel of a controller. It just feels feels right. I grew up with the GameCube and just love that classic controller feel. Uh, I did get my start as a console YouTuber, so out of respect for my original fan base, I wanted to make sure that I'm still showing them console gameplay and trying to help them out whenever I can. As far as PC, I added PC because I felt like I was missing out on a lot of the community. Given most of the other YouTubers uh, now all of Pro League and casters play PC, I wanted to make friends over there as well. So that's the whole basis behind me playing both. It's, it's very hard, as my aim will typically suffer because of the transition each week but nevertheless truly enjoy getting to dip my toe into both communities and enjoy what all there is to offer. So what about those players that play mouse and keyboard on console? Is it cheating? 
Uh, no. It's not cheating, it's just an interesting way of playing on console. Given the whole experience of playing on a console is to enjoy the controller, I do find it interesting that people do have adapters. Now, there are a variety of reasons people probably have, from not being able to afford an entire PC, to just wanting to dunk on kids with a mouse on console. It's a very difficult debate to have. Uh, I personally do not believe a mouse and keyboard should be able to play against controller using players. Now, that being said, there are plenty of players that have mastered the controller so well that it doesn't even matter. Um, an example would be Priest. If a player wants to use a mouse and keyboard on console, that's just their prerogative. It's not cheating, but you're going to take a lot of hate for it. I don't recommend it. I personally think that there is satisfaction in being able to master the controller so well that people think that you are literally playing on PC and using a mouse and keyboard. I say enjoy the controller if you're on console and then go to PC if you want to play with a mouse and keyboard. Finally, what are the differences to deal with between the two platforms? First, the frame rate. The frames on console are locked at 60 frames per second, while depending on your PC rig, you can have upwards of 200. Second, this affects what monitor you can play at. A PC can play with a 144Hz monitor or above, while a console monitor should only be using a 60Hz, as there is no real point in doing more. As explained earlier, reaction time. Console players deal with a blurrier image and latency in controls, so the reaction time is far slower than a crisp PC display with a click of a mouse. Sound, believe it or not, PC is actually a lot louder than console. Hearing movements and changes in the environment will be a lot easier on PC than, than console. And then finally, an obvious one, you'll be able to type back and forth to your team and the opposing team on PC, while on console, you won't be able to. So that's it. That's all I have for today, guys. Uh, I had just been asked a lot in Twitch chat what my experiences and opinions were on these subjects, so I thought I'd make a video for me to refer back to. I very much appreciate your support, given we have come a long way from only playing on PS4. I will be at the New Jersey Pro League LAN event here in a week, so if you plan on going to Atlantic City, be sure to find me and say hi, and even at me on Twitter to let me know that you're going. Uh, take it easy, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.